What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of I Know Chris on the show today, my friends. My lord, I finally found it, y'all. The pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. At least that is for me. It is Drinky Drinky Day Review. I'm telling you, this is Crown Royal Peach, my friends. Woo! This is really like finding gold at the end of the rainbow. Almost impossible. Maybe impossible. Maybe this ain't even real. I started last summer looking for Crown Royal Peach. Couldn't find it nowhere. I drove to every liquor store I could go, people laugh in my face and I asked for it. They made small batches of this by Crown Roll and it just sold out like crazy. It was just gone. So this year I heard they were bringing it back for a limited time. So I started looking early this spring, called several liquor stores, went to Silver Liquor. Everybody was just like, dude, you're not going to find it. Finally found one guy that had it in a little small town. And he's like, yes, I got one fifth left in the box. He said, the whole case is empty except that one fifth in the box. I'll hold it for you if you come on get it. So I drove 36 miles one way <laughs> to get this fifth. I think I paid like 35 or $36 with tax for this fifth of liquor. $36. I hope it is worth all the aggravation I went through and all the hype. It may just be all hype. But Crown Royal is making a killing off this. They know what they're doing by putting out small batches and people are just losing their mind. So... We're going to find out if it's really worth what they say it is. Like I said, I don't know where all you can get this around the world. I think Crown Royal is permanently sold around the world. I don't know about the peach. But I can tell you right now, in the United States, it's almost impossible <laughs> to get it. I always love their packaging. I always put it in a nice box. The regular Crown Royal, I love to drink with cola. It's really good. It usually comes in a purple bag. But they put the peach, my friend, in the peach color box. There's the bag. Peach bag. Got a peach bag, my friends. Got Crown Royal written on it. A little tie at the top. Got a neat little presentation. They always have nice bottles. Nice packaging. And there is the bottle, my friend. The Crown Jewel. The Peach. The Peach Crown Royal, my friends. Yes, sir. I hope this is going to be tasty, tasty. Oh, my God. I'm going to be so disappointed if it's not. 70 proof, my friends. 70 horsepower, as the cat would say. 70 horsepower. He's not here today, but that's what he would say. 35% uh, alcohol by volume. And this is a peach flavored whiskey. <sighs> Please let this be good. <laughs> All right. I've been told that if you're going to drink this, um, it's a little sweet. I've heard that. I don't know because I ain't been lucky enough to get my hands on the bottle of it. But that's what I've been told by several people. Is that it is kind of very sweet tasting. Peachy sweet. So, suggested to me was to mix it. And to mix it, they suggested that I mix it with tea. Not sweet tea, but tea. I love me some sweet tea, and y'all heard me say it, especially here in Southeast Georgia. We love our sweet tea. But they said, do not put it with sweet tea because it's extremely sweet. So I was like, well, what do I need to put it with? It's like, put it with just regular tea. No sweet, no sweet tea. So I was told to put about two ounces of this in a glass of sweet tea, and it's very tasty. Glass of sweet tea, my friends. Live in South, South Georgia. You got some sweet tea laying around. Here we go. This is two ounces. It's top. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Woo, my gosh. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, peach flavor just pow! Pop you in the face. You know what? This is one ounce on this side right here. <laughs> just give the. Let's just give this peach whiskey a little taste. Wow. Okay. I still taste the whiskey in that, but the peach, very pleasant. I would sip this. I would just pour this up on ice. Just my, what I'm going with, I would pour this up on ice and just sip it. It would be fine with me. I know some people are like, oh, it's not a, a true whiskey. It's got flavor in it. I don't care. It's good. I know Chris says so. All right, two ounces. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Love the sound of that. There we go, my friend. I'm just some people like, oh, flavor whiskey. Yeah, this stuff is pretty tasty. tasty. Just from that shot. Get a little stirry, stirry. A little loud there, I know Chris. A little mixy, mixy. And like I said, this is not traditional sweet tea that I love because I was told not to put it in sweet tea because this does have some sweet, I can taste the sweetness in this and they're, they're, it's very true. I don't think it would be a good idea. I mean, you could, but I think it'd be too sweet. So it's just regular tea. Yeah. 
Yo. Woo, I wish I could bring y'all in here. And just pass this around. Let all y'all just y'all want y'all want some? Y'all want y'all want to take a sip of this? I know y'all do. Mmm. God, that hot. Whew. It's hot. Wiping the sweat off your brow. Ah. Mm hmm. This is too good. I know what I would do with this. I would make. A big old gallon pitcher or just tea and probably pour about mm, three or four of these in that tea a gallon of tea I would about, I'm, I'd pour four four two ounces into a gallon of tea unsweetened tea put ice in it and get you some moonshine peaches they sell them take those those moonshine peaches out of there and throw them in there oh this would be so good mm. Y'all, that is off the chain. You know, if I say it's off the chain, it's off the chain. Man. That is delicious. I give it two big thumbs up from I Know Chris. I heard a lot of people say, oh, you're going to be so disappointed because it's overrated. I've had the bird dog whiskey that makes the peach, and it's a little stronger, and it is actually cheaper. I think it's like $15 a fifth. I don't have none here because I drank the dog. But... I drank enough of it to know it's not as good as the Crown. Some people say that it is and it's cheaper, but it's not. It's higher proof and you taste more of the, the whiskey in it. This right here, man, it's, it is beautiful for mixing. Mm. A peach cranberry juice with this and a little Sprite. Woo! We, mm. Two ounces of this, top it off about full with uh, peach cranberry juice and a dash of Sprite. It'd be off the chain too. I approve. All right, like I said, if you can find this, my friends, if you can find this, my friends, <laughs> get it, pick it up. I know it's a little pricey, thirty something dollars for a fifth, and a lot of people, are, uh, but there's way higher whiskey in the world. Trust me, it goes way up to the hundreds of dollars. Um, but this is good. I think it's worth. Um, the hype that's going around. I got one other thing I didn't tell you I was going to bring out. And I seen while I was there, but I was like, why not? I don't, they didn't have the fifth, but they had this little bad boy here. I don't know how good y'all can see that. But this is Crown Royal Apple. Crown Royal Apple. It got apple flavor. <laughs> and this right here, I think it's the same proof. Let's see here. Yes, it is. 70 proof, my friends. And for this little bottle here, I think this, how many milliliters is this? They even have it on here. Should have it somewhere, my friends. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Blind, I know Chris is looking, 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 looking. But dang, they don't have how many milliliters this is on here. Amazing. I made it so dang small, I cannot see it. Anyway, <laughs> this little bottle right here cost me 10 bucks for this apple flavor crown roll. So what they got going on. Whoa. Smells like a, if you had the uh, candy, uh, Jolly Ranchers, smells like apple flavor Jolly Rancher. Oh man. Oh, that's what might be good in tea too, my friends. I don't have no more tea on the table. So that means we're going to have to do a shot. Now we ain't going to fill this two ounces up. We're going to go with a single in there. Hello. Wow. Really? Okay. Crown is just so smooth. If you haven't drank Crown Royal before, get you some Crown Royal, my friends. It's so smooth. It don't just take your breath. I mean, the alcohol's there, but it's smooth. And the apple, the peach was my favorite. The apple is tasty. Let's put a little bit on my hand. Get it off. It is very tasty. But it has more of that candy, uh, artificial candy taste. You may not like that. It's not like, wow, I've been into a fresh apple. This is peachy. I've heard people say it's not. They full of BS. This is peachy. Smells peachy, tastes peachy. I love it. This right here, candy flavored apple. But the whiskey is so smooth, it's still good. You can still pour this. You could just pour this up, my friend. You can just pour this in your cup of ice like so. Mm-hmm, just like I just did. 
game by seeing it. We're going to stir it around, seal it up a little bit. Sorry about the noise. It is what it is. He could just sit around in a highball glass or whatever you want to pour it up in your whiskey, whiskey glass. It's good. <laughs> it's good. It is good. All right. Both of these products, both Crown Royal products today, they're both going to get two big thumbs up from I know Chris. I don't think you can go wrong with either one. Like I said, this bottle right here was like $10 here in the United States. This was $30, $37, $38, I think I said. Somewhere around there. A little pricey, but well worth it. I'll tell you another thing, Macy coming real soon. Just a thought went through my head. Y'all know I like to cook wings. Wings, my friend! This right here will make an awesome wing barbecue sauce. Um, I would probably put, I don't know, probably about four ounces, maybe eight ounces of this in a, in a, in a, in a pot on your stove. Take some peach preserves, spoon about two big spoons of that in there. Maybe uh, a little bit of garlic in there, a little honey. Whew, sounded good already. Make me want to cook some wings and cook it down, get the alcohol cooked out, and just pour that as a glaze over your wings. Oh my God, y'all better watch out. That's coming soon. I guarantee, I guarantee y'all, y'all gonna see that. Crown Royal Peach Wings, my friend, with a little bit, oh, we would like to have, you know, I like a little spice. So we need some uh, red chili flakes. Yeah, pop, 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 pop them in there too. Woo! A little spice, a little sweetness. Mm, 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 mm. I'm about to go hit the grill and get me some wings. I do better hush. I better hush. Well, guys, I've enjoyed bringing y'all this review of the Crown Royal Peach Whiskey. It's very cool. Nice little bag. I mean, I guess you could put the whiskey back in there. You can put some whatever you want to put in there. Really cool. Cool presentation. Makes it worth the extra $30 because they, they go all out. They don't just put their whiskey up on the shelf. If you get the bottle, this is glass, this is plastic. I paid $10 for this, plastic. I'm trying to make it look like glass, but it's not. But that's going to do it, my friends. I hope y'all enjoyed this review of Crown Royal Peach Whiskey, my friends. And you know what you need to do. If you will, please, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you don't like the contact. As my friends say in the Philippines, and they laugh every time I say, Tawad! <laughs> don't give me the Tawad. But you can if you want to. Leave a comment down below my videos. I appreciate each and every one that leave a comment. Love each and every one of my subscribers, but not only that, my members too. Appreciate all my members. I always put a member entry at intro at the beginning of my video. That's the list of my members, the people that hit the join button to join. It's a little perky get. Uh, I put your name at the beginning of all my uh, videos. Make new intros as many as I can. Kind of keep it fresh. Just giving y'all's channel a shout out. And all those members, links to their videos uh, are to their channels, I should say, not their videos, or down below the video. If you would, please go down and support each and every one of them. They support me and I appreciate that. And the ones that can't support me, I love each and every one of you. I don't want anybody thinking, ah, oh, well, he just, it's all about his, no, I'm not. Subscribers too. I love my subscribers, each and every one of you. Hey, a lot of people just come here and watch the video, they need a subscriber. I appreciate that too. If you like my channel, watch it any way you can. Well, that's going to wrap this up, my friends. I don't know what else we can say. So, I'm going to sit here and pour some more of this when I get off camera. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe going to bed early tonight. I keep drinking this. I'm going to be knocked out. But um, stay safe. And y'all, keep tubing.